Hey all turtle here and coming at you with a mail day episode uh, we got tons of stuff sealed products um, PSA vintage cards some ex stuff for expanded competitive play and even some non Pokemon sealed products but just a reminder we are having a giveaway this week for another sword and shield ETB if you have not entered make sure you check out our video from Monday and make sure you are entered and we're going to start this mail day with some uh, pretty basic sealed products. So we still have a good amount of sword and shield booster boxes. Uh, as far as how much we're going to actually open on the channel, I'm not really sure. I definitely usually try to, um, if I can, keep a sealed collection. Try to do like a case or so, but uh, I am really enjoying this set. So I'm sure we'll be doing some more openings. And so we have plenty of sword and shield to go. Let's see, we also have, we also picked up more of these Burning Shadows ETBs. There must have been another print wave or something because they are pretty cheap. And although these are the ones that had the terrible print quality, so I'm not sure how many of these will open, but you know, one day if we don't have much going on, maybe we'll just get into some of those. Let's talk about some singles that we picked up. All right, so. Thanks to my Twitch chat, we have started to play Expanded. Right now, the deck of choice is Turbo Dark, so we picked up a bunch of cards that said Computer Search, super expensive, and I was kind of annoyed, but you do need the one that says a spec versus a vintage one. We got two Shamans, some Hypnotoxic Lasers, Battle Compressors, and Dark Patches. Dark Patches are actually pretty expensive, and there's a whole bunch of other cards, but I would say these were kind of like more on the pricey side to complete our Turbo Dark deck. We picked up a random Delta Species Charizard. Delta Species is really cool. I imagine they won't bring this back because of things like Galarian and Alolan kind of, you know, is more, probably more appropriate than these Delta Species, but it's really cool. A electric type Charizard, and this is a foil. I was trying to figure out if this is a reverse, but it looks like it's just a regular foil. Actually, I think it is reverse because of the fact that it says Crystal Guardians on there. A while back, we picked up some of these Shibuya, I believe it's Shibuya, or Shinjuku um, promo Pikachus from Japan, and we actually picked up a few more. I figured I'd just show those to kind of like, yep, this was not from our previous open or our previous mail day. So we got five more of these. Huge fan of these cards. They are for like the various Pokemon centers throughout uh, Japan. And whenever they kind of have a opening remodel or something like that, they usually re release a promo for it. All right, let's go on to some PSA cards. So in one Pokemon, we we're kind of talking about, all right, where are we going to be kind of like investing in next in as far as our collection goes? And we we're kind of talking about the e-reader e series, and that's what we've been targeting. So we have a handful of cards there in no particular order. We have a Reverse Arcanine. So one interesting thing about these cards is that the reverses are like significantly cheaper I'm not sure how difficult it was to pull to like a reverse foil versus the, you know, the foil one, but the price difference is, is very uh, bigger than I would have expected. So this is a reverse foil uh, Arcanine, which is a, normally is a hollow and it is PSA 9, very nice. This one, it might be one of my favorite ones as far as the foils go right now that we have in our collection. This is the Espeon Mint 9. And actually, this is the H uh, Hollow, as opposed. To, I'm not really sure what the difference is. Maybe that's uh, kind of like was that the, was this the equivalent of Seeker at the time? But we do have this very nice Espeon. And one thing to kind of note is, you know, I feel like there's been some complaints about the V Pokemon in Sword and Shield as far as the art goes. And I do think looking at these, you know, uh, some of them I think are just amazing. Here we have, so this is another hollow, but this is not the H, and it's the Dugtra. This one only is a near mint to mint 8, but either way, I do want to pick up kind of like one of every foil, and you know, and then even if some of them are reverse, just to kind of complete the set, and then we'll try to go about, you know, collecting all of the, all the specifically reverses or the regular hollows. Uh, this art, I wouldn't say is too amazing. Uh, kind of jumping around a little bit, this we picked up at a... PWCC auction. We said we're going for the cosplay Pikachu's. Unfortunately, we didn't get it, but we did pick up a, another shiny Noctowl. This is, I think, one of the maybe the cheapest shiny to pick up. Uh, this one was only is a PSA 8, and it wasn't too expensive. 
uh, shiny knocked out was pretty cool. You can kind of see how it's um, not sure if like texture is the right word, but kind of like how the foil pattern is pretty neat. I think it is slightly textured and it does have these different uses different energy types. Okay, back to uh, e-reader series. We have a PSA 9 jump pluff. This is the H13. Very nice. So pretty quickly jump chipping away these easter this is from aquapolis so we have expedition aquapolis and sky ridge i think that might be the correct order uh but very nice building out our e-reader series very quickly all right this one is very special to me this was actually sent to me from a supporter of the channel uh that re asked to remain anonymous but either way i thank you so much for uh sending this to me this is definitely uh i prize part of my collection now it is probably my favorite turtle art of all the cards and it is we talked about this before it is boob the expedition blastoise gem mint 10 this is the non 401 and i absolutely love this art i feel like the x maybe that's why they i don't know if that's why they call it expedition but a lot of these arts they felt like these are creatures of the wild like this this blastoise is you know sneaking up on its prey or something uh almost reminiscent of like an alligator uh potentially slowly approaching them in the water uh yeah it's cannons are kind of sticking out so i'm not sure how <laughs> how sneaky that is but that's what comes to mind here and i absolutely love this art maybe the best turtle art of the pokemon tcg and let's continue with another e uh e-reader series and i feel like this also reflects the you know these uh, these arts kind of made me feel like all right, these are Pokemon in the wild and that is this Tentacruel I believe this P is for I think the vendor was called Paradise Gaming shout out to you guys if that's correct and this is another H26 PSA 9 uh, and this is the regular hollow and look at that art another great one for Tentacruel uh, I feel like this one you're just kind of looking up at a ginormous uh, squid Pokemon and I really like that art which is why I picked this one up and our last one for the e-readers PSA is actually a uh, dupe. Uh, we have another reverse uh, Entei. I think I picked up two. One of them, I actually, in hindsight, I think I overpaid. And then the other one was surprisingly cheap. Uh, so I just picked it up. So happy to have two of these. First dupe, but this is the reverse. And again, the reverses seem to be significantly cheaper than the regular hollows. And before we get into some non-Pokemon stuff, uh, one thing I just want to say about these e-readers is I feel like the prices can be all over the place. Definitely they can be had for very cheap um, considering how old they are. But I think it's just kind of there's very much a lack of supply. So a lot of times I'm considering buying one because it feels pretty cheap. And then I try to do some research and historically they've sold for much less. Um, I'm, it feels like just a lack of supply. Then if you kind of want it, obviously you just have to pay a higher price. So to be honest, figuring out what is the right price has been a little bit tricky. But all right, let's move on to some other Banan Pokemon TCG stuff. So we have a couple of sealed products. Um, you might, as you may know, probably know, if you've been following the channel, uh, I have a huge uh, a huge fan of Magic the Gathering, despite the fact that we don't do tons of Magic content. I definitely really appreciate that game and I think it's great. I really got into it in college. So we did pick up a couple of these Theros Beyond Death Boxes. These things are so loaded. I think they kind of um added so much supply of these special alternate art things that actually i feel like this product isn't that popular almost because it flooded the market with if you wanted to just pick up uh, things off the secondary market it really flooded the supply and prices went down i think a lot of times the regular art sometimes are more expensive than the it's kind of like the swagged out alternate art just because of how uh, how many there were open when you know like vendors or such kind of opened up a bunch of these boxes and then the second thing we have is part of their secret layer series we have been collecting these and uh however the other ones are kind of in uh kind of stowed away so i didn't really want to go grab it but this is the secret layer drop year of the rats uh it's kind of a bunch of a different so this is for Lun lunar new year obviously and it's a bunch of reprinted of different rat cards. And so they've been kind of doing this. I've been kind of picking up a couple of each of the Secret Lair series. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. And they do come with like a stained glass planeswalker art. Uh, but I don't plan on opening these. But you know, maybe one day if we're bored and there is a amount of interest in any of these Magic the Gathering products, we would consider doing opening. 
And yeah, so this has been a bunch of the stuff that I acquired over the last couple months. And you know, even though Sword and Shield has been a ton of fun to open, I think I do want to work on my collection, especially as far as Pokemon, some of the older stuff. Um, you know, and I do occasionally pick up some Magic Gathering stuff. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's mail day. Um, yeah, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment down below. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.